In this experiment, we're going to recycle some old paper and make some brand new paper. For this, you'll need about 15 to 20 pieces of paper cut up into small squares about 2 centimeters on each side. You'll need some water, an iron, some towels, a blender in order to grind our paper up, a small bucket to soak your paper overnight in, a spatter screen, and a larger bucket uh, in order to make our paper. The first step is to take your small pieces of paper, put them in the container, add water, and let it soak overnight. And I have some already made up here. You can see small pieces that are well soaked. We need to grind these up using our blender into what is called a pulp. And you can do this simply by taking a handful of your paper, putting it in the blender, and filling your blender about half full with water. You now need to make your pulp by grinding the paper up. And start with a low setting first, such as the grind setting. And then you can move to maybe a quicker setting to make sure that your paper is well ground up. So we've made our pulp now, and we need to put it into a large container so that we can make our paper. Now I have this large bucket filled with some pulp I've already made and I'm going to add the fresh pulp to it. Now mix it up with your hand and then take your screen and gently Load it into the mixture and allow the pulp to settle over it in a small layer. Then gently lift out the screen. You can see that there's a nice layer of pulp covering it. Hold it over your bucket for a moment to allow some of the water to drain off. And then, lay it atop your towel, like that. Next, take another towel and gently lay it over the screen and pat it down lightly. Now we have to dry our paper using an iron and you may want an adult to help you with this and it'll make all kinds of noise as the water dries off. Now you want to dry your paper long enough so that when you peel back the cloth slowly that it doesn't stick anymore. Once you've taken the towel off your paper, you need to remove the paper from your screen. Now you can do this by simply flipping it over on to a new piece of towel.
and then put another towel over top of it and allow your paper to dry overnight. After drying overnight, your paper probably looks something like this. Fairly stiff, but still flexible enough to bend. You can make your paper fancier by adding food coloring to the pulp, or by adding in small bits of leaves and everything to add some color to it. New paper is made from grinding up wood, mixing with water, flattening, and drying in a manner similar to the method we used for making our recycled paper. Many communities now use recycling because it's environmentally friendly. You don't have to cut down as many trees to make paper.